Welcome traders to another Tickmill Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing the 17th of January with me Patrick Mundling. In the US it's going to be a pretty light week for economic releases as most of the attention will focus upon earnings reports. Uh, noteworthy bond and equity markets will be shut on Monday for Martin Luther King Day. Uh, minor uh, releases will include housing indicators such as starts during December, uh, minus 2% month over month, that's going to be released on Wednesday. We then get home resales for December, uh, minus 0.5% month over month expected, that's released on Thursday. Industrial readings will include the Empire and Philly Fed regional manufacturing prints on Tuesday and Thursday respectively. Against a relatively quiet US uh, macro calendar, the main focus in the US markets will be upon Q4 and full year earnings season after its checkered start uh, via mixed results for individual banks at the end of last week. Next week we have 35 of the S&P 500 firms will update earnings including names like Goldman Sachs on Tuesday, B of A and Morgan Stanley on Wednesday, Netflix on Thursday, United Airlines Wednesday and American Airlines Thursday. Analysts have set fairly modest expectations for how the season is expected to evolve. So from a technical perspective, the dollar index came in to test our anticipated support zone. And on Friday, we did actually put in an outside reversal candle. So what's going to be key as we head into next week? Well, firstly, any move back through the prior lows of last week at 94.60 will be a significant bearish development and I would anticipate a very quick move down to test the yearly pivot 9380s and then through there we will be looking for uh, 9320s. However, with Friday's outside reversal candle, there is the potential to push up now and retest prior support to potentially act as resistance at 9560s. However, as any pullbacks remain shallow and supported into the 95 area, there is the potential that we extend higher back into prior cycle highs, 96.92s, and then en route to the upside uh, target zone of 97.46 to as high as 98.14. So really what's going to be key as we come into the beginning of the week is how we respond uh, as we head into the London Open on Monday. Do we get that upside follow through or do we roll over uh, suggesting a simple profit taking or short squeeze on Friday and take out these pivotal 94.60. So it's going to be an interesting start to the week for the dollar index. Uh, Eurozone, very light in terms of uh, data next week. Really the core Eurozone markets only have the ZEW measure of investor expectations uh, that is among the key fresh survey based forms of evidence to inform GDP growth expectations. And we also get January readings for German, Germany and the Eurozone aggregate and they arrive on Tuesday. From a technical perspective, the euro similar to the dollar index got a peak through the trend line resistance but a sharp reversal on Friday closing back underneath the trend line. So what's going to be key for the euro as we start the week is can we hold this prior breakout zone at 113.80 as support? If we do, I'm anticipating a grind higher to ultimately get a look at the yearly pivot 116.40. If, however, we fail to hold this support area and certainly any closes back through the pivot here at 113.30 would be a bearish development and we will be then having to think about the break of the trendline support here and through the monthly range support currently coming in at uh, 112.70. If that happens, then we're looking for a test down towards 110. So again, similar to the dollar index, it's going to be really key how uh, we open up as we head through the Asian session tonight and then into the London session tomorrow morning. So we've got key levels to pay attention to. In terms of Japan, uh, Tuesday is the Bank of Japan's latest policy decision. The BOJ is set to keep its policy unchanged and most of the focus will therefore be on the central bank's price and growth outlook especially in light of recent headlines. According to Reuters, BOJ policymakers are debating how soon they can start communicating an eventual interest rate hike, with inflationary pressures and a more hawkish Federal Reserve emboldening such a move. BOJ has already started gradually phasing out its stimulus program, but markets have also been speculating about quantitative tightening. The inflation projections are likely to be revised upwards, for 2021 as price pressures in Q4 have exceeded expectations. The assessment of 2021 GDP may be cut down. Uh, for 2022, Prime Minister uh, 
Kushida record-sized fiscal stimulus package is set to help growth projections, but the exact increase will be crucial for market expectations. So from a technical perspective, dollar yen sold off from the ascending trend line resistance, going to move back down into monthly range support, and we saw profit taking and some buyers step in there on Friday. Now, as the uh, prior highs here at 115.40 act as resistance, we look for a three-way corrective move to ultimately get us down to test 112.50 before we see if buyers are going to step in and take this higher again. At this stage, it would really take a close through 116.37, the prior cycle highs and projected monthly range resistance to suggest an early resumption of the upward drift and a target up to 117.70. Uh, in the UK, it's all about inflation next week, as on Wednesday we get headline CPI. It's expected to remain just over 5% year over year, with core inflation minus 4% year over year. The month over month price increases have exceeded uh, consensus expectations for five of the past seven months, if that's any guide. Uh, the inflation reading may be less stale than elsewhere, because Omicron uh, was taking off first in Europe and then made its way elsewhere. Higher prices via damaged supply chains could be one consideration behind expectations for retail sales to decline in Friday's December reading. Other key readings on the UK job market will also matter. Employment reports uh, lands on Tuesday. The job prints for UK jobs in October plus 74,000 revised down from a plus 160 revealed that the ending of the government furlough scheme had little impact on the state of the job market. Flash estimates for November point to another strong gain of plus 257,000, further reinforcing the tightness in the UK labour market. The reading will further inform whether the BOE will continue their tightening cycle after a surprise uh, 15 basis points hike in December. Markets are currently pricing in a hike for the February meeting. So from a technical perspective, the sterling took out its trend line in a decisive fashion. So we now look for pullbacks into that trend line uh, prior resistance to act as support, 135.70s. From there, we watch for bullish reversal patterns to engage on the long side, looking for a fifth wave extension up into monthly range resistance, 138.19 and 138.35, before the potential for another profit-taking pullback. At this stage, it would take a close back below uh, the 135.50 to suggest a false break and setting sites back down on a test of the pivot there to 134.20s. Last but not least, rounding things out in Australia, uh, Australian jobs smashed consensus estimates last month with a gain of 366,000, swiftly recapturing the almost identical number of jobs lost during the three-month lockdown in, uh, from August to October. Job gain was not from newly created jobs, but rather primarily a function of workers re-entering the workforce after being uh, separated from their employment. There still exists a hefty pool of job attached workers who are either unemployed or not in the labour force that should slowly uh, reintegrate into the work over coming months, which will subsequently drive employment and participation rates up. From a technical perspective, Australian dollar uh, found resistance into the 7320s. So we're now looking at a test of the, uh, the pivot here, uh, 7179 and the ascending trend line support. As long as we hold here and get some bullish reversal patterns, then we're looking for a move up into the yearly pivot 7430s and the descending trend line resistance 7450s. However, any close back through the pivots at, once, at 7170s will be a bearish development suggesting uh, the current correction is complete, and then we would be looking at extension down into monthly projected range support and price cycle lows just below the 70 handle. So all eyes will be on this test of the ascending trendline support and pivot zone. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next week, thanks very much.